video today um, we are back at the lair you see all our rods we have an unboxing video for y'all today from Goofish I believe it's a company overseas I believe they're Chinese there's some Chinese writing right there or Japanese but basically these rods are slow pitch jigging rods so they're meant for like the boats and uh, they're like flim they look flimsy but they have a lot of backbone extremely extremely uh, durable so um, we were thinking we can apply those same rules since they're on the boat if they can handle big fish they can handle rockfish and link cod so we want to thank Goofish for sending us a rod and let's get this bad boy unboxed and uh, you guys can check it out there it is y'all two piece Goofish slow jigging. Mighty slow jigging. 120 to 250 grams. So that's about, this little rod can do probably four to eight ounces. I think if my math is right, I'm not the best. But let's set this up and uh, see. Honestly, from first sight, it's two piece. It's a different type of two piece as well. It's not right in the middle like all the other rods we're used to. Solid nanotech blank. Two to four size six six jigs from 120 to 250 grams max 350 grams deadlift 100 or 15 kilograms so yeah thinking about pairing it with oops uh yeah we might have a problem <laughs> there you go there you are with my shimano reel for some swim bait action and then my brother can put it or actually you know what this is a this is not a bait casting rod you do there you go it's a coral shimano a coral there she is all set up tiny little tiny little uh, rod but if you guys see the other YouTube videos, they have a lot of power. So, that being said, let's put this bad boy to the test. So, since there are boat rods, right, we're gonna go test them out on the boat, put the max weight on there, or the max jigs on there, and see, uh, see what we can get. But I was thinking, since I have my other rods don't really have the backbone to throw a 10 inch swim bait and seeing this what this can do on youtube figured this guy can definitely handle a 10 inch swim bait and whatever beats that 10 inch swim bait and since it's like light enough and sensitive enough my brother can use it with his swim baits when you know when he uses like the like the little jigs and he throws them off off the for like blacks and blues, but sometimes he catches his link cod and it's hard to, and the rod he uses is extremely flimsy. It's actually, I think it's only like a, a trout rod because he's only trying to go for blacks and blues. So he's gonna try to do, uh, use this for that in case he catches a link cod, he can muscle it up. Now this is a big hammer swim bait with a pit bull tackle, I believe eight ounce weight. See how it does. You guys might not see it, but this has some backbone. Yeah, this definitely has some backbone. It feels good. Doesn't It doesn't feel like I have a tiny rod with an eight ounce weight. It just feels like I have a regular rod with a, a two ounce weight. So, can't wait to actually test this guy out. So yeah, that's the rod guys. Beautiful, beautiful goofish rod. I'm gonna pair it with the Shimano Socorro. 
And before I forget, all the links for this rod is gonna be in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, let us feel free to let us know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Before I forget guys, we wanna thank everyone. We finally reached a thousand subscribers. Um, I remember the day where we were excited for 15 subscribers and now we have a thousand thanks to you guys. So to show our appreciation, um, we will be having a raffle uh, to bring a lucky subscriber out fishing with all three of us. All you need to do to uh, be part of the raffle is comment down below on this video and I'll take all the comments and I'll put them in one of those uh, raffle things and I'll, part, I'll announce the winner either on Instagram Live or something or I'll just hit up the person who won and then we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget if you're interested in buying one of these or getting one of these, the link is down in the subscription. It helps out the channel, it helps me out, helps the guys out. Um, go check these guys out, uh, Goofish. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. then you know where we're at. If you, for those of you who don't know, we're at a jetty today, testing out the goofish rod. Now the jetty is a wall of rocks. It's meant to break the waves for boats to come in. And that sound you hear is, um, it's just a uh, to warn all the boats when there's foggy weather conditions that they can't see this wall. Anyways, Jose's out here with the goo fish rod, testing it, uh, how it works for a jetty. He's doing little swim baits on off the side. Later, I'm gonna do a little poke pulling with this rod and show you the different applications it can do for a jetty that we think might work. We're also gonna test it on a boat. We're gonna test it while rock fishing, while kayak fishing, hopefully, maybe this year, while all that. And then we're gonna bring it to you guys. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. First cast with the goo fish. We're using the little white grub. Let's see if we can catch some blacks and blues or something. It feels great in my hand. It's like super small. It's only six foot six. Super light, super small. Really uh, flexible. But it's supposed to have really good backbone, you know, so. That's what we're kind of testing out. I can see how off a boat or a kayak, it could be great because it's just so so small, you know? You're not gonna get too much distance with it casting, but we're still trying, we'll see. So while Jose is testing out that goo fish rod, I know from one of my earlier videos, I get, I got a link cod fight somewhere around here. So I'm gonna see if I can get that guy this time. So I always say fishing off a jetty with swim bait is a lot different than fishing um, with a swim bait on the cliffs. With a jetty, since it's sandy in the middle and then it becomes rocky, I usually bounce bottom and slow retrieve back. Bounce bottom, slow retrieve back. And then when it gets, once it hits like, once I feel my first rock, then I just give it a nice slow steady retrieve. So I don't like accidentally fall into one of those holes and get snagged. But for like, if I was on the cliff, I would let it hit bottom and then just constantly have a slow retreat back. I wouldn't bounce. That's just, that's just me. Everyone, some, some people are different. Some bounce, some don't. Cool thing about the jetty is if I didn't get anything that cast, just a little bit more this way. And I'm a whole new area to fish. You don't have to, a lot of people throw it way out there. You don't have to just right in these holes. I only, throw, I only throw it away out there because I'm going past the rocks to swim it this way. 
I think it, that looked like he had a bite. Yeah, it did. Guys, so, goofish time. Got the goofish rod. Brother was in the wind, he was using it for swim baits. Got a little cold, but I have a different application. I don't have a poke pole, but I have a goofish rod. And if I have a long leader, little bullet weight, and some bait to drop down to that hole. Oh, there it is. I knew it. Oh no! Damn. I did say this was a review, and the review is the goo fish brought that e that pretty nice eel up like nothing. See, I like this because I usually do this with my other rods, like the Akuma, but it's just too long. It's too long and it's not as powerful to like muscle these fish up. And this rod is just perfect. Short. Oh, there's another one. It's short at the muscle, and I can muscle these guys up. Come on, give me one, one bigger bite. One big bite. Yeah. Whoa. On the board. On the board. Second fish of the day. Technically third, but the second one fell. Black and yellow. Yeah. Black and yellow. Open your mouth. Come on. You know what? It's probably the one that was biting me, dude. I'm yeah, of course. I'm gonna go fish right over there. <laughs> right, where, right where I dropped it. Probably another one down there. <laughs> the Brady taken in weight? Take what? and bake. Take and bake. Yeah. Cause they just take it? Yep. So I'm gonna try to do some uh, poke pulling. You can't see the whole thing, but it's a homemade bamboo stick. It's about 12, 15 foot. And uh, this black bar, I just wrapped it with uh, electrical tape. With the, uh, at the end, you can kind of see the, uh, it goes around, that's just a coat hanger. Coat hanger with the little loop and then tied a little pre-made hook with a little piece of squid. So we'll see if we can get something. Some prickle back. Some, oh man, hold on, hold on. there's a gap right here. It's a monkey face. Have you had a monkey face, Trevor? Monkey face is delicious. Yeah, let's try to get some. Fish on, guys, fish on. Fish on. Uh, a little cab is on. I didn't know the daddy was here. Yeah. <laughs> little cab is on, guys. Tiny, tiny cab is on. Cool colors, though. Oh. Oh, saved it. Woo I had to give him a little uh, Jackie Chan Ooh. kick at the end, but he made it in the water. Alright, let's switch holes. I see one right here. Caught one. There's a dolphin out here. Crazy, you never know where you oh there it is, there it is on this side, on this side. You see it, Trevor? Yeah. Ooh. You never know what you're gonna see out of here. Over here, Ralph. It's gonna come up somewhere up here. Look at it! Oh damn! Hey, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's more over there, look. Look. There's two, three, four. Dude, they're chasing something. Either they're chasing a bait or fish or salmon. 
or they're being chased. Oh, oh damn! Okay, that might be what I saw. Look at it. Yeah. Ooh. Going down. That's a huge bat ray. Yeah. Good luck. On. Grassy. That's a good one too. Oh, dude, that's a keeper. You don't think so? I like the way this feels in your hand. Yeah? Right? It's hard but smooth. And yet, you can feel the tip so well. It's, just, it's, it's a wonderful piece of equipment. It's a wonderful piece of equipment. I think the goo fish rod did its job today. Got some fish. Sensitive. It feels good in your hands. I can't wait to try it out on the boat. It feels gonna or kayaks gonna feel even better. But it passed the jetty test. So that's for sure. We'll catch you guys. We're gonna catch this fish and then we'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace.